Good morning, cousins. I miss y'all. Happy Tuesday to one and all. Thank you for your love and your comments and the loss of my, my coworker. I, I'm telling you, it just it has really hit a lot of us really, really hard. A lot of people really, really hard. But you know, we know the Bible says that we will live and we all going to have to go. Um, one day we just want to make sure our election is right. Today, I want to talk to you guys about why Kyra doesn't know what she wants. And it also bugs me that both Jason and AJ is on her about, well, what do you want? And I'm like, but y'all over here hugged up with, Jason's hugged up with Liz swapping spit and uh, AJ's over there, Alexis is in his face, and I'm like, but they're both like, well, what do you want, Kyra? Okay, welcome back to Church Girls Don't Get Married to My Name is Jess. Thank you for your love and your comments. Thank you for your support. Uh, my new t-shirts are available. The link is below. I have lots of cute designs there you can check out. I have a few more designs coming um, very, very soon. Also, thank you for your love with my new book. 10 Years a Girlfriend is available. Thank you for those reviews. I have 23 reviews. As of this morning, I feel like I'm supposed to have more reviews than that, beloved. Also, um, 23 Tasks of Guys You Might Meet. I still need reviews on these books, The Naked Wife, Moments of Gratitude series, In Christ I Am. And of course, uh, third one, this is not being a girlfriend. If you want to be a wife, that's the ebook. I'm currently working on it to get it into print. Um, check that out. You can send me an email. Yeah. So I am really annoyed that both Jason and AJ is on Kyra about what she wants. Like when Jason went and Kyra was playing the tent, was that tennis, tennis, and then they went to sit in the tree or where that was so romantic. Excuse me. She asked him, are you not that solid with me? And he said, well, Liz made, told me where she stands. So basically Liz told Jason that I want you and I want to be with you. Of course, Jason is only Liz, uh, Liz's connection. So it's like she has no other options. But then I thought about, uh, the scripture in Proverbs 18, 21, 22, he that finds a wife finds a good thing and obtain favors from the Lord. But in Psalms, it said, blessed is the man whom you choose. So ladies, like my dad always said, 10 men might find us, but we have to choose which one we want to spend the, lot, the rest of our lives with. Now, come back later, and I'm going to tell you why I think um, Kyra should dump both of them. Mm -hmm. Come back later for that one, okay? So now uh, Kyra's here, and she's juggle juggling Jason. And, you know, after the whole financial talk with Kyra's friend, I thought that Jason had made a switch and wasn't didn't want to be bothered with her. But everything he Jason is saying is contrary to what I thought he said, and I thought he meant. I also think Liz is safe for Jason. I'm going to come back and talk about that. And um, it bugs me that Jason is asking her, well, what do you want? When he's already hugged up over here with Liz, and I'm like, well, Jason, why don't you tell her? I want you. I want to be with you. Um, I feel the same way with AJ. You know, he's going back and forth between Alexis and Kyra. And we all know that Kyra, J, AJ doesn't want Kyra. Now, AJ says to Kyra, to, um, to Alexis, you're the safe choice. Okay, I'm going to come back and talk about that. Because I was really baffled um, about the commentary on, on that. And so my thing is, even though AJ at the end of last week's episode told Kyra, you know, you're not ready to love. And Kyra was shocked. Like she just could not believe it. And then, then AJ kind of back up and ask her and tell her, look, Jason has already chosen Liz. Do you want to be here with me? So my thing is, AJ, why did you have to allow it to get here? to let her know 
you want her. Why not just say that? Because, you know, though we choose as wives, we also want the man to let us know that he wants us. My husband was working really hard. I mean, he was doing everything. He was everything. He want to talk to my dad. He was talking to me about his finances and he's the provider. We're going to go ring shopping and I'm meeting his friends and his family, his mama, his daddy, everybody's best friends, his frat brothers, you know, because he was really trying to let me know he's interested. He told me, I'm, I am very interested in you. I want to marry you. And so I, I was just a little bit disturbed that neither AJ or Jason said to Kyra, I want you. Though Kyra kept on saying, you know, to Jason that the same way you don't know, Jason asked her, who do you want? And she said, well, the same way you're still figuring things out, I'm still figuring things out. AJ and I have some kind of conflict and I'm just trying to figure out what that conflict is. I think the conflict is AJ and he said it himself. He's not a good communicator. And uh, you you know, he might need to go go to counseling like that. Basically, he raised himself if I remember correctly. So, by Jason saying to Kyra, "Who do you want?" makes me think that Jason also wants Kyra. Even though Liz has already drawn the line in the sand and Jason, I'm with you. I want you so on and so forth. And I saw a picture of Jason uh, on his Facebook page and he say, why wouldn't I choose a queen? But I'm now I'm wondering, Jason, did you really choose Liz or Liz chose you and you went with Liz because Kyra didn't choose you? So, you know, which one is it? Okay. Even in next week episode, after all of this, when Kyra says to him, I have unfinished business with Jason, he is still asking her, who do you want? And I'm like, what do you mean? Who does she want, Jason? You shouldn't even be asking her that question because you've already chosen Liz. So if you are happy and and confident in, in Liz, choosing you, why are you asking Kyra who does she want? That it makes no sense to me. And I think both AJ and Kyra want, I mean, both AJ and Jason wants Kyra, but maybe they are not too sure that she wants them. Granted, that is fair because they are two men, two very different men, two very different dating styles, two very different people who wants her. And so now she needs to make the decision. I'll come back and talk about that. So I, I was just a little, little bit, I was thinking about this yesterday. I was like, but I, I wish one of the men had said, Kyra, I want you, but you know how men do not like to be rejected. And you know, they have an ego. We also have an ego as women. I think that's something we don't talk about enough. But women also have an ego, uh, but not as big as the men. And they don't want to be rejected. So that's why the Bible say, he that finds a wife finds a good thing, but blessed is the man whom you choose and cause to come into your court. So ladies, Kyra is in fact dating in the true definition of dating. She's gathering data on both men and she needs to make a decision. However, I think she should dump them both and I'm going to come back and I'm going to tell you why I think Kyra should dump them both. So let me know what you guys think. Thank you, Messiah. Shout out to Messiah, Messiah Allen, I think. She gave me all the details about David. Listen, y'all, somebody emailed me and said, how come I've, I've never given them a free book? And I'm like, I, well, baby, I don't even know your name. <laughs> okay. People who get free books from me are people who is always in my comment section. Messiah is always in my comment section, always on my live. Okay, a couple other people. If I see you always in my comment section and you're answering my question, like David said, then I'm always going to give you a shout out and send you a free book. I love you. Let me know what you think. Come right back well, later. 
And I'll tell you why I think uh, Kyra should dump both Jason and AJ. I want to thank you for your love, your support with my new book, 10 Years a Girlfriend. It is available on Amazon. A lot of you got free copies. I need reviews. If you are supposed to get a free copy and you've emailed me and I have not emailed you back, to say your book has been mailed, then that means it hasn't been mailed, but I'll get to it, okay? Also, also 23 Types of Guys You Might Meet is available. I need reviews. The Nikki White is also very My Moments of Gratitude series. This is a journal. It's good for you to pick up right in. In Christ I Am series. It's a three-book series. It's um, Everybody can use it. And of course, uh, third one, this is not being a girlfriend. If you want to be a wife, this is currently an ebook that I can email it to you, but I'm working with my format out to get it to print. Okay, because it has pictures in there. And so we're trying to decide how do we get those pictures? Do we want to do it in full print, in full color, or black and white? Also, also, I want to ask you to please check out my t-shirts. This one says made to be a door. I also have the cups, the mugs. And I have lots of other cute designs. I have one of their butt dusties. I love you. I have to run. Come right back. And I'm going to tell you why I think uh, Kyra should dump both Jason and AJ. Mwah. Have a great day. Bye.